Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702-595-0488. Previously, I asked non-essential businesses to close, close their doors to the public. I am no longer asking him to do that. I am directing all non-essential businesses to close. I repeat, if you are not an essential business, I'm using my power as governor under an emergency declaration to order you to close. I'm signing a new emergency directive, the third I've signed since declaring the state of emergency. This emergency directive has specific regulations and will be available to all immediately after these remarks. There should be no confusion, and there's none in my mind. This is not the time to try to find loopholes. If your business is not essential to providing sustenance and for the everyday safety, health, and well-being of Nevadans, you must shut down so that we can give healthcare workers and our fellow citizens the best chance at fighting this virus that we can. By signing this directive, I am granting local governments the authority that they do not currently have to impose civil penalties including fining and revoking licenses of businesses that do not shut down. If businesses defy this directive and stay open, state and local law enforcement will have the ability to treat this as a criminal act after all other options have been exhausted. This directive goes into effect at midnight tonight and will remain in place until April 16th. I hoped it would not come to this. I did not want it to come to this, but to protect all the bads, this is necessary. This virus is going to get worse before it gets better. Like so many other states, Nevada's health system will not be able to handle an excessive increase in patients all at once without rapidly straining resources and without aggressive mitigation efforts, an outbreak can turn into a full-blown crisis that will overwhelm our hospitals, put our healthcare workers at a higher risk of exposure, and test the limits of our medical system. Some are saying these actions will devastate our economy. But for a state that relies this heavily on visitors, the impacts are inevitable. It's happening whether we want it to or not. So our choice really comes down to how long we want this to drag on. Is it better to let it linger and hope it resolves itself a while away while our economy continues to worsen and Nevadans continue to get sick and die? That's not what we do. We will choose to face the facts, listen to our medical experts, ignore the misguided leaders, rip off the band-aid, and hopefully cut this thing short, knowing that our chances of economic recovery are better if we make this painful decision today.